Hey everyone, welcome back to G-Man Movie Reviews. I hope everyone's having an awesome Halloween season. Had a great weekend. Sorry for the delay between videos. I was actually sick the last week, so no reviews from me. But I'm really excited today to come to you with a review of the brand new Keanu Reeves movie, John Wick. John Wick's a movie that I've actually been familiar with for a while, mostly because it filmed around New York City last year, right near where my office was and some places that I was hanging out. So I knew it was in production, but didn't really expect much from it. About a month ago, it actually started screening for critics and it got a lot of buzz and, and attention. So I figured I'd go check it out today. The basic synopsis of it is that uh, Keanu Reeves plays sort of an assassin guy, um, you know, think like uh, Liam Neeson from Taken, for instance, who's out for revenge on some people that have done wrong to him. I'm not going to get a lot into the plot, but it also stars some other actors, um, Willem Dafoe, the guy who plays the the guy who plays Theon Greyjoy in um, Game of Thrones and some other people like I can't remember their names right now. But, you know, like I said, it plays out like a a revenge sort of movie and in terms of the positives, the action sequences are very good in this movie. The, the sound's great. The choreography's great. Um, you got some really loud gunshots in there. It reminded me of like a Michael Mann movie like Collateral or Heat. Um, you know, so the action was really good. But that actually leads me to a negative about the movie is that after a while, I thought the action was a little bit overbearing. And it almost seemed like it interfered with the story. And the story didn't really build. The movie actually starts off pretty well in terms of creating interesting characters that you can connect with and a nice backstory. But as it goes on, it just sort of plays out into one action sequence after another, which sort of made it a little disengaging for me. Um, you know, it just was like, all right, well, that was the last action sequence. Now we're going to take a break for a minute, not really build that much in terms of the characters. And then we're going to have a new action sequence. Um, you know, and while I complimented them, it just sort of got a little bit old after a while. So not that much in terms of the story or anything that was captivating. And by the end, I was kind of like, all right, well, like, let's have this movie be over already. You know, it's it's been enough. You know, we're not really learning that much more at this point. You know, how many, um, you know, gunshots and, and punches can we throw in this movie? So, you know, overall, while... I think this might be a good time for, you know, people that just kind of want to sit back and watch some action, maybe drink some beers. I'd recommend maybe checking it out once it hits Redbox or, or Netflix. I don't think it's something you necessarily, necessarily need to run out to the theaters to see. Um, you know, it's not something that's going to be that great, in my opinion, if you're looking for a great story or characters. So overall, I'm going to give it a 5.5 out of 10. Thanks, everyone, again, for checking out G-Man Movie Reviews. I'll come to you guys again soon with more reviews. Take care.